Hello and welcome to Presentation Perfect. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the morph transition in PowerPoint to create this slick, seamless effect as you move between slides. Just a heads up, the morph transition requires PowerPoint 365 or version 2019 or higher. All right, let's get started. Okay, so let's start by changing the background color. Just right click, go to Format Background and pick a color of your choice. Next, let's add in our text. I'm using the font Alisassi Caps, size 134, in white for the heading. For the subtext, use Cambria, size 40, also in white. Make sure everything is center aligned so it looks clean and balanced. I'm also grouping the text boxes to make them easier to work with when we apply the morph transition. Now let's bring in our PNGs. I'm downloading two DAISY PNGs from PNG Egg. I've linked them in the description. You can also find Sunflower and Rose PNGs online. Just make sure they're high quality and have transparent backgrounds. Now just position your images wherever you like. You can duplicate them and place them in different spots and rotate as needed. Add as many as you want until it feels complete. I'm going to fast forward this part. To make the morph transition feel more dynamic, I'm going to apply a blur effect to a few of the flowers. Simply click on a flower, go to Format Picture, Artistic Effects, and choose the Blur option. You can also increase the blur radius in the Advanced Picture Format options. This creates a nice focus effect. Some flowers will look closer and others further away. Once that's done, insert a new slide, change the background again, and add your new text. I've already prepped some text for this one. Just paste it in, center align it vertically and horizontally. Now repeat the flower placement. You can use the same PNGs, just copy and paste them from the first slide and adjust their positions. Repeat this process with different flowers or any image of your choice, and you should have a set of slides like these to work with. Now that our design is ready, let's convert everything into frames for the morph transition. On each slide, hold Shift and select all the flowers. Then right-click and group them. This groups them into a single frame we can animate. Do this for every slide. Once all elements are grouped, we'll prepare the morph animations. The idea is to create smooth entry and exit movements between slides. Let's take the first frame and make it exit to the left on the next slide. Hold Shift and select both the text box and the group flowers. Copy, go to the next slide, paste, then drag the group off the slide to the left. This sets the exit direction. Moving the text boxes slightly ahead of the frame like this also helps create a more dynamic motion effect. Next, we'll add the entry animation. Copy the content from the second slide, go back to the first slide, paste it, and move it off to the right. This makes it slide in from the right on transition. Repeat this process for the other slides. Now I want the contents of the second daisy slide to exit upward when we move to the third slide. To do that, I'll copy everything, paste it onto the third slide, and then drag it out of the slide area toward the top. So when the morph transition is applied, it'll look like the elements are exiting upward. Next, I'll copy the contents of the rose slide, go to the previous slide, and this time I'll position it below the slide area. 
This way, the content of the rose slide will enter from the bottom, creating a smooth and natural flow. Now I'm going to select the contents of slide three, paste them onto slide four, and move them to the left, since that's the direction I want them to exit from. Next, I'll copy the contents of slide four, go to the previous slide, and position them to the right. That's where I want them to enter from. Now let's set up the exit for the fourth slide. I'll paste its contents onto the sunflower slide and move them upward so they exit toward the top. Then I'll copy the contents of the sunflower slide, go to the previous slide, and position them at the bottom, just like we did earlier. So now you'll see that the sunflower elements will enter from the bottom and the rose elements will exit to the left, creating a smooth visual transition. Now I'm going to create the exit animation for the contents of slide five. I'll paste them onto slide six and move them to the left. That's where I want them to exit. Then I'll copy the contents of slide six, go to the previous slide, slide five, and paste them to the right, which is where I want them to enter from. And that's it. We're done setting up the transitions. You can always go over this again to double check everything. It's really not as tricky as it looks. Once you start applying the morph transition, it all starts to make sense. Finally, just select all the slides, go to the transitions tab, choose morph, and you're good to go. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want more creative PowerPoint tips and tricks, consider subscribing to the channel, leaving a comment, and checking out my other videos. See you next time.